Tell me, in reality, will a decision like that one today impact votes tomorrow at the polling booth, considering the fact that she may have just killed Christmas for a lot of people in Queensland who want to see their family from other states? Well, like you said, Chris, a lot of people have voted already. I think the number left that are expected to vote on, on, on polling day is just 800,000. So it's this massive phenomenon that's happening where, where people are lining up at pre-poll booths, they've registered postal votes. So the difference this border decision makes is, is probably only small. But, but mind you, the, the, a public opinion in Queensland about the border closure has, has ebbed and flowed. People were really against the border closure initially. They wanted the borders open. Uh, and then the Victoria happened and Queenslanders decided as they want the borders closed. I, I, I just think uh, the Premier here is making decisions that are obviously uh, uh, impacted by a lot of polling that's going on in the background. I, yep. I think they know where public opinion is on this. Uh, they know that they're probably on a winner with this in the certain areas that they, that they need. You, you just wouldn't do this a day before an election if you thought it was going to be politically toxic. Uh, very true. Who had the momentum this week, do you think? Oh, look, I think, I think it's been pretty even week so far, Chris. I think, I think both of them have been pretty much on their game. I, I, I think you're right. I think Anastasia had uh, a, a bit of a problem on Wednesday night at the Sky News Forum. But today at the Queensland Media Club Forum, I think Anastasia Palshay was really on her game. Mm. Uh, I think it was a pretty decisive victory for her. So uh, I think she'll be happy with that. Probably won, won all in terms of the debates. Uh, and, and I guess the leaders now are probably going to head to, to regional Queensland to try and uh, get a few, a few extra votes. Uh, but it is going to go down to the wire, mate. There's... There's no doubt about it. There's probably half a dozen, a dozen seats that nobody can call at the moment. So uh, on the night, it's going to be difficult as well. So I guess we'll, we'll just have to watch those numbers come through. In terms of campaigning, I felt that, you know, due to whatever private polling she's received, Anastasia Palaszczuk has kept referring back to her control of the pandemic, her results in terms of COVID-19, the lack of community transmission. That was the big sell. It, she went back to that over and over again. I thought the LNP had some pretty good goodies to sell, but will that be enough? Look, I, I don't think they could ever sell a good message on COVID, and I think I think that was their problem. I, I think Labor skewered Deb Frecklington so well on this issue of her decision to call for the borders to be open, and then Victoria struck. I, I, I just think that that was a lot of good luck for Anastasia Palaszczuk. And look, heading heading into the start of this year, this was a government that was cooked. This was, this was a Premier who, who was becoming deeply unpopular mm. uh, and she's managed to reverse that around. So there, there, it is no surprise uh, that, that she's concentrating solely on, on her management of the COVID crisis. You barely hear the Premier talk at all about what she's achieved over the last three years or the last two terms. There's, there's no reference to those kind of a, a achievements very often. Uh, it, it is just the last eight months. It's about keeping Queenslanders safe and, and obviously the Labor Party thinks that's, that's all she has to do. And just talking about postal votes once again, it is really hard to get a measurement of which way the votes might sway from postal votes as opposed to those who turn up to the polling booths. Could it be different or is it just too hard to call? I think, I think it's pretty hard to call it. The, the traditional idea with, poll, with, uh, with postal votes is, is that they, they favour the LNP because older voters uh, prefer to, to register, they're a bit more organised, they don't like wasting their time on a Saturday uh, and, and they get it in the mail. So uh, sometimes, you know, the, the pundits don't call the seats until po those postal votes are coming through if they're close uh, because they know it can favour the LNP. I, I think this time around, because people are applying for them much earlier, uh, I think it's a broader cross-section of voters, that, then the postal votes will probably mirror the rest of the trend. So you'll probably see some of those seats called on the night. But you're talking about a massive number. You're talking about, uh, I think it was 800,000, 900,000 yeah. postal votes. So uh, if they can't start counting those on the night, obviously, there's, there's still going to be a heap of those in the mail. I think something like five, 600,000 of those in the mail, uh, that could make the difference in, in a hell of a lot of seats. So we may, we may be counting in Queensland for, for quite some time.